we have breaking news from Ian Rappaport, who keeps jerking us around. Tell us what's going on. So originally he says, hey, don't be surprised if Sam Darnold starts week one. And it was like a big report. He, was, he really made a big deal about it. Then he just like goes on Pat McAfee's show. And then like while he's like yucking it up with the boys, he's like, oh, by the way, the Niners heard what I said, hit me up and pushed back and said, why would you count out Trey Lance? Like in passing. That's news, Ian. What do you think of Ian casually saying that the Niners actually went out of their way to be like, dude, why are you saying this? So then why is he so adamant that he's going to be traded if the team that would be trading him is pushing back on the notion of, you know, of, of Sam Darnold being the guy? Why is, why is uh, you know, Ian so all in on Sam Darnold if the Niners aren't? Is he anymore? Like he has some splaining to do, Ian. Very. And I think he knows it, and that's why he kind of tried to bury it mid, mid Ian Rappaport. You're like, no, do a segment on N NFL Network and explain what's going on. Yeah, why are you? Why have you been saying for months in very specific terms, with very like you know, sounding very confident that there is going to be a trade of Trey Lance if there's no source? That seems very bizarre. Very seems unprofessional. So explain that one. Don't just try to like laugh it off with Pat McAfee, who obviously isn't going to ask you a question because he's not a journalist. You got to answer this question. You're a journalist, Ian Rappaport. To me, what the way I interpret it is the Niners brought in Darnold. They like Darnold, and he's a nice fallback in case things fall apart with Trey Lance. But obviously, if they had their way, it would work out with Trey Lance. They're probably hoping... Plan A is that it works out with Trey Lance. Or obviously plan A is Brock Purdy comes back and he's healthy and you don't have to worry about anything else. Barring that, plan A is Trey Lance works out and, and Sam Darnold is an intriguing plan B. I think that's the way they wanted it. And you got Ian Rapport, NFL Network, framing it the other way and they're like, well, we don't want to raise expectations on Sam Darnold that much. It's Sam Darnold. Come on. So here's the question. Is Ian Rapport playing coy right now or is Ian Rapport? out over his skis on this report and went with a dramatic a dramatic report about quarter a quarterback being traded and got very specific. It's like he's not going to be traded now, but he is going to be traded after they assess where Brock Purdy is and if Brock's healthy. So it was very specific. So we're supposed to believe that it didn't it wasn't a sourced deal you mean you're going with that level question. of That's a, a good rumor. Question. And it's, it's a good not question. sourced. It's just it would seem out of character it? for someone like him, right? So let me let me let me give an interpretation. It's wild. We've talked about this before. Again, it's possible that <clears throat> the source could be, and I don't know. Let's say it's John Lynch, the initial source. He talks a lot. I mean, he's connected to all these people. What if then Kyle Shanahan calls up Ian Rappaport this week is like, what's going on? And Ian's like, well, I was talking to John. And Kyle's like, well, John doesn't speak for me. I run this team. I mean, I don't know that that's happened, but I mean, that's the only way I could really ex uh, explain away your questions. Other than maybe, I mean, he didn't, the one thing he didn't do today, Grant, is he didn't go and say, yeah, what I was reporting before was wrong. He didn't say that. In fact, when he was pushed on why, why did you report this? He was like, well, I mean, because Trey Lance hasn't shown me much. Yeah, but who are you? You're not yeah. a you're not an evaluator. You're not a quarterback coach. You're not an offensive coordinator. You're not you're really not a head in the building. Coach. You're not a GM. You're not in the building. Yeah. So yeah. your sense of it, see, I don't I don't buy it. I don't buy that yeah. Ian Rappaport thinks so much of his own of his own opinion on players and how well they can play or can't play, that he would put that out there just on his own. Thing. I, agree. I agree. Be, I agree with you. I agree with you. Because that's something I would do. That I, I, what I do is I, I mean, me, you and I read the tea leaves and offer our opinions, and we make it very clear that we don't have right. sources. That's not what Ian's the source guy. Ian can call up seven people in the organization. So what I'm thinking is either his source wasn't that good. His source got overruled. His source wasn't the number one person in the 49. Because ultimately, it comes down to Kyle. And I could see did Kyle bring it in. Back, though did he walk it back? I didn't. I listened to the whole thing. I didn't. He ever hear him grant walk it back to be like you know what he's probably not going to be dealt he still sounded he basically right only talked about brock purdy and sam darnold in that report well he's he's saying like well the niners are pushing back but i you know we'll, you know we'll see what happens kind of thing but I, I just find it interesting that the niners are basically saying hey he didn't hear this from us he didn't hear this from us and he's like okay well we'll see if i'm wrong 
I know the other thing that was startling about that whole thing was they're sitting around talking about it. And between him, between McAfee, AJ Hawk and Ian uh, Rappaport, you can tell none of the three believe in Trey Lance. Fair. I mean, didn't that sound they're not that in, was, again, they're, like, they're not there at practice it, and they didn't that's seem fine. like at all. Like, you know, yeah, like they're AJ like, Hawk. Yeah, Trey Lance has got to show us something like, yeah, like this guy's been terrible. One guy said, well, it hasn't been that big of a sample size. But outside of that mention, it wasn't like it just when they were discussing who was going to start, it just didn't seem like they were really factoring in Trey Lance. And yet well, I, he said he got pushback from people in the building that he made it sound the way he made it sound. I don't really care what Pat McAfee and A.J. Hawk think about the Niners quarterback situation. What I do think is that what the Niners are doing is they eventually might want to trade Trey Lance. You know, let's say Brock Purdy comes back and is the guy they want. Maybe they want to trade Trey Lance. Talking up Sam Darnold doesn't help that. It doesn't... Maybe you want to trade one of the two of them if Brock Purdy comes back. Talking up Sam Darnold doesn't increase his trade value, but it does decrease Trey's because now everyone around the league is like, man, you really hate Trey, man. He's worse than Sam Darnold, huh? And you want me to give you a second round pick for this guy? No, he's worse. Than, you're telling me he's worse than Sam Darnold. So they have to walk that back. They have to be like, wait a second, Ian. Shut up. Well, we I mean, whispered that to you. That was a whisper. I mean, we could talk about that, but the, the real da damage that's been done to Trey Lance's value is the fact that the Niners don't seem to be talking him up, are talking up Sam Darnold, and then the two teams. Until today. That, well, until today. Until today. The two, the two teams, though, that needed quarterbacks who, quote unquote, knew Trey, Rand Carthon and the Titans, went with Will Levis. Will Levis. And, you know, D'Amico and the Texans and the Niners South crew and in Houston CJ went Stroud. with CJ Stroud. And so that speaks loud call. too. Good call. I think they that both made the right call. Louder, right? Because I think they both made the right call. I mean, both Levis and Stroud have more experience than Lance and they have they don't have serious injuries that they're coming back from and they have the full the full rookie contract. And yeah, I, they don't have a, a surgery. We'll see. I mean, ankle. it's all speculative, man. I I, I would Smart. rather have Trey Lance than those guys. Yeah, but I, sure, it, it, in a vacuum, but he's more expensive. He comes with an injury. He only has two years left on his deal. I mean, it's his contract is awful for, compared to Will Levis or C.J. Stroud. Actually, C.J. Stroud is pretty pretty. That's comparable. one way to look at it. That's one way. The other way to look at it is, you know what? There's a lot of bumps on the road to success, and he's already been on those, been already like down that. that road. And like Trey's, that. Trey's got a little bit more urgency, and I think he's probably a little bit closer to – you know, whatever he's going to be, we're going to see it, I think, right away. Where I don't know about Will Levis. I'm not sure about Stroud. Right. Fair enough. Also, if Brock doesn't come back right away, and this is really a competition between Trey and, and Darnold to start week one, it's Trey's competition to lose. If Sam Should is be. starting week one, it's probably because Trey played really bad in the offseason, not because Sam Darnold found this other gear that hasn't existed. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, Sam Darnold could probably be a little smarter turn the ball over a little less, but he's Sam Darnold. Trey's going to need to, this is his job. And if he plays like crap, then it won't be his job. I think that's, it's, it's, it's pretty much that simple. Unless Brock comes back and makes a miraculous recovery and really not up to anyone else. Yeah. I mean, if, if Brock comes back and they make him the starter immediately and he plays really well and takes off from what do we yeah. say, then, then it's a wrap, but that's a big if, right? That's I mean, a that's, a if. that's a huge if. if. And yeah. also I, 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 to me, um, I, I don't, I don't. I mean, I think Trey easily beats out Darnold if Ooh. Trey has progressed at all. If he yeah. if he's progressed in this offense, he should beat out Sam Darnold. He really should. Even if he hasn't, Sam Darnold's a pretty low bar. So that if, so even if Trey Lance wins the job and starts Week One, he's still gonna have a lot to prove. Like beating out Sam Darnold doesn't mean he's made it. Is I guess what I'm trying to no. say. No, it really doesn't. I mean, it's points. Sam Darnold. They, this mm -hmm. I think the, the Niners are gonna evaluate this on points. And the bar has been set high because Purdy was scoring 30 points a game. Now, mm -hmm. granted, he did it with McCaffrey. Trey didn't have McCaffrey, but Trey will right. have the full complement of weapons. And it's, it's really what it's going to take. It's just going to take leading the team down the field to points. Yeah, and absolutely. Wins. And staying healthy. Gotta we stay take healthy. that win for granted, but the Niners do too, and that's their problem. 